today's video is starting out a little bit different. We are selling something on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, I know, selling something on Facebook Marketplace. Craziness. I haven't done that in a while. This is a pottery armadillo water vessel. <laughs> it's freaking weird. I love weird. Uh, Rich has this listed on Facebook Marketplace for $40. I picked it up at a thrift store for eight. So we've slowly been dropping the price from, I think we originally had it listed for 60 and it's been listed for quite a while. So 40 bucks is fine. Still making profit. And the people are supposed to be here pretty freaking soon. And this guy rad. I love him. And then we can grab souls. Start on that. Armadillo has been picked up. Souls. I'm just, just, my ADD is so bad today. We need to get through the solds. This sold for $20 plus the cost of shipping. It is a wall-mounted hat rack. I'm not entirely sure where I got it from. It's been hanging around for a while. I finally got it listed maybe two months ago. It was sold for $20 bucks plus the cost of shipping over on eBay. Next is this used seasoned 15-inch round pizza stone. I sell these. Even if they're used and abused, as long as they're not damaged, they seem to sell. This one's sold on eBay for $15 plus the cost of shipping. And I think I have one more still at the farmhouse that I gotta grab. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get this boxed up and ready to go out next. I think this is the next thing we gotta grab. Yep, that's it. This is probably one of my favorite things ever. So my era of childhood. Um, new old stock. McDonald's hat and scarf set. Awesome. Vintage 80s coolness. This set sold for $25 on Etsy. We picked this up at an estate sale and I kind of like talked the price down. I think they had it originally listed for or tagged for $10 and we bundled it with a few other things. So I think we may have like $5 under the set. Um, yeah, so I mean we didn't make like a ton of money, but we made some money. And it's awesome, and it gets to be, you know, someone's Christmas present, I'm pretty sure, which is pretty sweet. So this is the next thing we are getting boxed up. It will be so nice when we are done moving, and I can actually get to the china cabinet, because that is where the next thing we sold lies. Rich is going to assist. Yep. We sold the little tiny miniature art glass flying pig. Picked this up at a thrift store for one whole dollar. Sold it on Etsy for 20 whole dollars. Love this job. So this is, I believe, the final thing that we are getting boxed up today. Well, frankly, I'm getting quite tired of dealing with rude people on USPS shipping delays. So why don't we just do some mystery unboxing? Because that might make me feel a little bit better. These are all crates that we have um, brought to the apartment from the farmhouse. I have zero idea what is in any of them. Crate number one doesn't look all that interesting, to be completely honest. We have a couple wine glasses. Meh, they're really nothing all that spectacular. This is a little live pets carrier thing. I don't know, not too sure about that either. Toys. Toys. More toys. look like old whoa whoa dropping brass on glass not a good idea <laughs> but I mean really would you guys expect anything less out of me if I didn't break at least one thing um I don't know these are kind of neat I do remember buying these a long time ago at a garage sale I think for like a quarter a piece I just thought they were neat looking so I don't know we'll do something with those Kind of an interesting piece. It's got like a little spout on each end here. Probably tag this for the antique booth. Whoa! I'm gonna break something, I swear. That's not all that great. Paper and a big old footed bowl. I guess we can try to sell that. 
I'll grab this one. This is like stemware of some sort. I can feel the stem. Ooh, these are kind of pretty though. How many of these do we have? See a second one. Which reminds me, I have a pair of New Year's pieces that I need to... We're going to pause life on this real quick. <laughs> Only because for like the last four days, I've been meaning to... Ooh. Oh, that is super cracked. Do you guys see that? Darn it all. Have I mentioned lately that my ADD is super bad today? But these, Happy New Year glasses, stemware, whatever you want to call them, these have been kind of just like lost in the algorithm. So I'm going to take new pictures of these, relist them on eBay, and throw them up on Marketplace, try to get rid of them. And then we'll get back to that. We're going to finish this crate and then another change of plans because it's just how I roll. something in the paper that I'm dropping into the vase. Ooh, what is this? That's not glass, that's plastic, but... Or lucite, maybe? I don't know. It's not very heavy at all. But it's an owl. It's cool. We'll keep it. Uh, the vase, I'm not super thrilled about. Nothing all that great. I feel like this piece, yeah, was damaged. I remember that piece. I'm no longer holding on to things that are damaged. Not doing it. Paper, paper. Um, I feel like I have a stack of those somewhere. Oh, this one has a teacup that goes with it. This is a Johnson Brothers pattern. So we'll keep that. Paper, paper. Corral, mm -mm, good bowl. Meh, not super thrilled about that either. One crate down. Oh, and I just seen that giant chip. Okay, so we're not keeping this one either. Darn it all. the house. I'm going to do this out on the deck, so sorry about the noise from the traffic behind me. But we've got, we paid $15 for all of this. The antique sled, which I can probably sell for about $35 bucks alone. We got this super cute tree in a boot. Also extremely adorable. We also have these little plates. I don't know what they're made out of. They're not marked anything, but we've got the snowman and the faith love and family that match it it's a cute little set got the weird Santa bulb guy he's cute little figurine and we have the ho 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 sign which again I could probably get $15 just for the ho 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 sign I might tag that for the booth try to get it out of here before Christmas actually comes okay we're back at the house obviously you just see me show the cool Christmas stuff, but dinner is on autopilot. I think we have time to do one more mystery crate. This one kind of looks interesting. And I think I'm hearing Rich pulling up. He drove the Mustang. <laughs> it definitely has a sound. Okay, this would be cool if it has a creamer. So we're gonna stick this aside just in case. If it has a creamer, that would be awesome. Ooh, these are really pretty. Frosted glass. Is there a second one or is there just one? Looks like there might just be one. Steubenville creamer without, or a, another sugar without a creamer. That is a flitted bowl of some sort. Oh, the dogs are going to be really annoying now because Rich just walked in the door, but this was the footed glass bowl that we just found. Ooh, what is this? thought that was broken for a second. No, it is not. Margarita? Is that what that is? I don't drink, <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure. Kind of like Christmas, but it's opening my own stuff. Uh, clear glass bud vase. Nothing super exciting. 
ball mason jar. Also, not really all that exciting. Okay, this whole box is just not as exciting as I thought it originally was. The Capitol, Washington, D.C. That one's kind of pretty. Can I get the reading on the back, though? Oh, man, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> I'm not even sure why I tried. Okay, we got Jiminy Cricket. Vintage Jiminy Cricket. He needs a good wash. Yeah, he's stinky, isn't he? <laughs> he needs washed. We're going to put him over there. Hey, metal pear candle holder thingy. Probably stick that in the booth. A big scoop. Good on that. Good on that piece as well. And the last piece is a shoe. A shoe and a shot glass. Okay, this, uh, this whole crate was not as exciting as I thought it was. Sorry, guys. But at least just one more crate sorted through. More stuff to list. Jiminy Cricket is going to get washed. That'll get tagged for the antique booth. And we still have a lot of stuff to go through. <laughs> I hate moving. Have I mentioned I hate moving? I hate moving. But uh, tomorrow's thrifting. So, I don't know. It might be a little bit more exciting than today. We'll see you guys then. Peace out.